the trend for me that's uh, uh, really interesting is is uh, not any of the possibilities of new tools, which is very exciting, you know, the connected world, audience participation, all that is all super cool. What's interesting to me is just the general thing I've been feeling of storytelling being so primal and important to uh, you know, every single organization around the globe, from Fortune 500 companies, to governments, to uh, startups trying to pitch their ideas, that at the base storytelling, everyone's recognizing as the most important tool. And I think that is gonna be uh, transformative. Uh, because then, instead of the best PowerPoint wins, the best story wins. And the best story usually has a deep emotional human element. So that means that the most human things will ultimately win when storytelling is the driving force. There are so many new technologies that's shaping what's happening today and what's, how, what's influencing storytelling and my work. But I, I, I think that, and I know it might sound flip, but I think Pretend 2.0 is driving uh, my work personally more than anything else. What I mean by that is, you know, the act of pretend, the act of writing fiction, um, and thinking about it not just as flight of fancy, but as ways to make the future visible. That to me is the, the strongest technology. So it's really the human brain, the human imagination. But knowing the possible outcome of that um, is the new twist. Before it was just making it up. Now it's like making it up and it coming to life. The pool of inspiration is not any definitive thing or place. I think you live your life and things that tickle your fancy sort of stay in the subconscious and float sort of you know, near you. And then so when, when some problem or opportunity arises, you know, that thing just shoots up to the forefront uh, because uh, you, know, you dug it so much. The last creative, thought I had was based on being at a concert, feeling and seeing something. And uh, you know, when I left the next day, we were brainstorming and that, you know, what happened at the concert, something I brought into the brainstorm. So it, it's, uh, uh, it's just usually just life in general and not, you know, a particular coffee shop or a particular cool pin that I use.